Hi, namaste. It's Ali here at Saravara Yoga, and I'm going to lead you through a very short, um, gentle, restorative yoga um, for mainly for the legs and the hips. And you'll need a strap, or you can also use a scarf. Um, a scarf or a, like a necktie, something like that. So you might pause this video and just go and grab something and then meet me back here on the mat. We're going to start in supine position, laying on your yoga mat. And just taking a moment here to get comfortable, making sure your prop is nearby. You might adjust the shoulders, the pelvis. You might lift the pelvis and place it back down. And then soles of the feet on the earth begin to gently sway the knees from side to side. And we'll begin to invite the breath right away. So as you inhale, knees up to the sky, lengthen the in-breath and slow the movement down, exhaling knees over to one side. Inhaling, knees up to the sky. Exhaling to the other side. Inhaling, knees up. Exhaling, knees over to one side. You notice how far apart your feet are. You might take the feet at least hip distance apart, if not wider, maybe mat distance apart. And then just begin to follow the rhythm of your breath. Inhaling knees up to the sky. Exhaling knees across. The option is there to bring the arms into cactus position. Taking the arms out to the side and then bending the elbows at 90 degrees, palms facing up. We're just moving with the breath here. Noticing the gentle Massage on the back body, the sacrum, the soles of the feet. And when you're ready, begin to turn the head gently in the opposite direction of the knees. So as you inhale, the head comes to center. Exhaling, gently turning the head to the opposite direction of the knees. You're just following your own gentle rhythm here, relaxing the jaw. Relaxing the tongue, softening the eyes. One more deep breath. And then inhaling, knees up to the sky, pausing here. Drawing the right knee into the chest, interlacing fingers on top of the shin, and then extending, optional, to extend the left leg down your mat. And begin to gently spiral the knee here. And this might be very subtle circles, or you might draw a little bit bigger circles with the knee, and bring awareness into the right hip. You might imagine that you're breathing into the right side hip, stimulating the synovial fluid and circulation, dispersing nutrients to all of the different tissues within this right hip joint. And imagine that you're breathing prana into this right hip joint, reversing the direction. If it doesn't feel good to circle, you might sway the knee from side to side. So noticing what feels good for your hip. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then drawing right knee into the chest, and grabbing on for your strap or your tie. 
and taking the strap beneath the sole of the right foot, extending right leg up to the sky. Flexing the right foot a lot, taking deep breaths through the nose and gently pressing the heel up to the sky. Notice if you have tight hamstrings, you might have a little bit of a bend in the knee. Relaxing into the earth, feeling the weight of the head, the weight of the skull on the ground. Taking deep breaths here. Imagine that you're breathing into the back of the right leg, breathing into the stretch that's there in the back of this right side leg, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more deep breath here. And then as you press the right heel up to the sky, very gently begin to circle the right heel. Just really many circles, round and round. Slow the movement down like you're moving through some type of resistance. You might even imagine the leg moving like it's moving through a jar full of honey. So nice slow movements, deep breaths. And noticing all the little micro stretches and sensations in the back of the leg as you move the right leg round and round. Feeling the support of the earth at your back and then reversing the direction of the little circles. Closing through the eyes. One more deep breath. <sighs> Bending the knee, releasing the strap, and drawing right knee back into the chest. Bending the left knee, flexing the right foot, and then beginning to open the right knee out to the right side as you place the right foot on top of the left shin the left thigh, sorry. So you're coming into a figure four position with the legs, and you might feel a stretch in the right hip right here, or you might begin to gently press the right knee away from you, keeping the right foot flexed to protect the knee joint. If you don't feel much of a stretch here in the right hip, then you might like to draw the left knee in towards the chest. Coming into figure four position, you can interlace fingers behind the thigh if that feels good. And you might like to stay here in stillness, breathing deep breaths into the stretch in the right side glute, piriformis, or you might like to rock gently here from side to side. Do you take another deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Releasing the right foot back down to the earth, hugging right knee back into the chest, interlacing fingers on top of the leg. Extending left leg back down your mat and begin to rotate the right ankle round and round. So taking deep yogic breaths here. If you have a dirga pranayama, you might invite your dirga breath, breathing deep down into the lower abdomen, parting the teeth. You might even draw the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth and then reversing the direction of the circles. One more deep breath here. And then 
like extending the right leg down your mat. Pausing here, dig the right heel into the earth. And we're going to do a little bit of leg dribbling here, what's called leg dribbling. So what happens is you just start to bounce the right leg up and down. Almost like you're dribbling a basketball. And you can use as much force as you like here to help release the tissues in the back of the leg. And this really helps to release energy, releasing any energy that might be stored in the body, stored in the legs. It's good for releasing anything that you might be holding onto in the root chakra. Just a few more breaths here. Dribbling the right leg, deep breaths through the nose. One more in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then just pausing here, let the legs be heavy and closing through the eyes, begin to notice the sensations flowing through both legs. Sensations flowing through both right leg and left leg. And just noticing any subtle differences from the right to the left. And noticing any free flowing energy of the nadis, the meridians in the right side. And you might imagine that you're breathing into all of those free flowing pathways you're creating in the right side leg. Breathing prana, breathing energy into the body, into the tissues, the cells. And then option to bend both knees, or you can simply hug the left knee into the chest. You can keep the right leg extended or the knee bent if you like. And then as you hug the left knee in towards the chest, just begin to notice the sensations now in the left side leg. And then when you're ready, just little circles round and round with the knee. And these might be very subtle circles, or you might start to exaggerate the movement, whatever feels good for the left side hip. The knee might be swaying from side to side instead of circling. So just notice what feels like medicine for the left hip. Deep breaths through the nose. One more deep breath here. And if you're circling, reversing direction. Imagining that you're breathing energy down into the left hip. Softening all of the tissues of the face and the jaw. And then hugging knee in towards the chest, pausing here, grabbing onto your strap. We'll take the strap beneath the sole of the left foot and extending left leg up to the sky. Flexing the foot and gently pressing the heel to the sky. And if you have a tight hamstring, you might have a bend in the knee. It's just about finding a gentle stretch through the hamstring. So whatever feels right for your body. And then deep breaths here through the nostrils. Find that gentle stretch. So wherever you feel a stretch, then you've arrived. Breathing into the sensations, deep breaths through the nostrils. Imagining that you're breathing all the way down the length of the leg into the toes. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you, the density of the ground. And then beginning your little circles when you're ready. And again, these might be very, very subtle, very tiny circles. Like you're pressing the heel, drawing circles onto the sky above. And 
and then reversing. Noticing all of the little stretches and sensations reverberating all the way down the length of the left leg. Noticing stretches coming all the way down the leg towards the hip. Reversing the direction as many times as you like, whenever it feels good. You might start to sway the foot from side to side or draw a little figure eights. Breathing into the tissues in the back of the leg. One more deep breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth, bending the knee, releasing the foot, and drawing left knee back into the chest, placing your strap down, bending the right knee, flexing the right foot, and placing the ankle on top of the right thigh, and begin to open the left knee out to the side. So if you need a visual, opening the knee out to the side. The foot is flexed a lot to protect the knee joint and you might feel a stretch here. If you feel a stretch right here, you can stay as you are or you can hug the right knee in towards the chest, lifting that right foot off of the ground. You might interlace fingers behind the thigh here. Holding, breathing deep down into the left side hip, glute. Softening the jaw, relaxing the tongue. And you can stay in stillness or you might gently rock here from side to side. Noticing sounds. Allowing awareness to be spacious. Listening and sensing. Softening the eyes and the eyebrows. You might draw the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Three more deep breaths here. foot back down to the earth, unwinding the leg, hugging left knee back into the chest, and you might extend the right leg again, and then begin to circle the left ankle round and round, deep breaths through the nose. You might imagine that you're breathing all the way down into the left ankle joint, stimulating circulation here. Reversing the direction. Two more deep breaths. the left leg extending it all the way down your mat, digging left heel into the earth, and then when you're ready, begin to dribble the left side leg. Closing the eyes, breathing deep breaths down into the left leg, and just thumping the leg down with as much force as feels right for your left leg. through the nose, out through the mouth, releasing, releasing stagnant energy, 
releasing anything that's holding in any of the layers of the self. You might take a couple of lion's breaths here, releasing, letting go lion's breath into the nose. Exhaling, sticking out the tongue. One more on this left side leg, lion's breath. Letting the leg come to rest. Noticing sounds and just breathing into the left side leg, noticing the energy pulsating through the left leg, noticing the sensations, sensing any difference from left side to right. You might just imagine that you're breathing in through the soles of the feet all the way up to the crown of the head. And then exhaling from the crown of the head all the way down to the soles of the feet. Inhaling through the center of the soles of the feet all the way up the legs, the spine, to the crown of the head. Exhaling all the way down and out through the soles of the feet. And just imagine that you're cleansing the whole body here. Cleansing breaths in through the soles of the feet. Moving all the way through the entire volume of the body. And exhaling down and out. Out through the soles of the feet. Three more breaths like this. and then releasing the control of the breath. Relaxing into the body, breathing itself. Just laying here in Shavasana for as long as you need to. Relaxing from the world of thinking, analyzing, looking, seeing dropping into the world of sensing, listening, feeling, breathing, relaxing into the simplicity of being breathed. <laughs> 